Hello everyone. Today we have Rishi Tejpal from Times Internet. So he'll be sharing some insights on the industry and also his experience of Communique 19. Hello, sir. So telecom is a dynamic and ever-changing industry. So with the technological uh, advancements happening in the country, so what can we expect that the digitalization in the world can bring uh, better to the consumers? I think as you rightly said that it is a very dynamic industry and I would say the Indian telecom industry is one of the most dynamic across the globe that you will come across. I think the kind of uh, changes that we have seen in this industry over the last I would say 8 to 10 years but in particular it's been phenomenal in terms of how the, we have come down from a, more than a dozen players to a three player market wherein the consolidation has happened to this scale and we have reached but in terms of the new technological evolutions if i have to be very particular about like we have seen that evolution from first generation of telephony to the fourth generation and we are already talking about fifth generation so which we'll be talking about in the panel as well so i think the key aspect has to be two things that whenever we are thinking looking at the technology evolution it should be the the need and the timing i think the the use cases define the need for uh, any kind of new technology evolution and the timing is very critical because if the ecosystem is not mature so any kind of an early leap into a new technology will actually backfire so i think that's these these are the two things that any every regulator every government and every telecom operator or infrastructure provider rather all the stakeholders should look into very clearly when actually coming from one generation to the other generation right so. so share your experience of being a panelist in communique 19 and also give a small message for the students of SITM interesting i think uh, as i said that this is uh, i think i got a second or a third invite and i could make it out this time only and i'm very happy i could make it it's a wonderful campus to be honest and then uh, being a part of the panel of course my experience will be done after the lunch itself but then i think and it i feel privileged and really feel happy that you guys invited so one of the key reason for me to actually make sure i make it if this time is the topic itself so so 5g as you the theme you have set is the traversing through the unknown so when it is unknown it is more critical right so and like when with 3g and 4g we still had some clear directions where to go how to go but when you actually take a diversion to an unknown so it is very very we have to be very more cautious around those times i think the things that uh, we as a panel would like to bring out and communicate to the next generation of uh, management graduates who will actually drive the industry further will be basically to to have some logical uh, ways of looking at how the technology evolution has taken place what are the learnings from the previous generations of shifts from first generation to the fourth generation we have seen and what are going to be the key drivers for the next generation of technology so i think that would be the key message that we as panel for the 5g would want to bring it out and i think for the students the only thing is that we we hear a lot of jargons around technology all these generations of technologies ai iot ar vr machine learning so all these things i think the ideal thing should because these are all good things in a, in their own way but if you look at from the perspective of the solution providers like so people monetize their these all kind of jargons but end of the day if you see ai is nothing but it is back end data analytics right so you get insights and the system just takes actions based on some algorithm machine learning is just learning these insights over a period of time and making it so i think there has to be a logical shift in terms of how you look at the technology and what are the needs and how you can actually map those two things together so i think that could be something if you can execute once you get into the industry down the line i think that would be wonderful thing that the students can do further Thank you for your time sir. Thanks a lot. Yeah, pleasure to be here.